uh, today we came to this facility, this school called Osodo, to offer treatment, medical treatment, to the people who are affected by floods. Uh, we came, some, someone called, uh, because we usually do frequent medical camp where there is need. So we were called, we came, we did assessment, and we saw the need for us to bring treatment near to people. So after, after five days, now today we are here, uh, the number is far much greater than we, we assessed or we thought. It's higher. We've been able to see by now about the half of the percentage. That is about 50% because we, are, we have seen like 500 people. Uh, we are going to treat them today. Most of the condition, the high prevalent condition here is malaria, both affecting the pediatrics age, the children, and also in adults. We also have seen other cases. We have typhoid, which is being, I am being associating it with the, it's a waterborne disease. Being that the people who are living here, who are staying in this place, they're not even able to access safe water for them to drink. So that is what is bringing all that. We have big challenges uh, which affect our children, our pregnant mothers, and our, even our elderly parents who are now actually are in this problem. Uh, we are pleading with the government, national government, to talk with the uh, doctors and uh, clinical officers for them to come to an agreement on how they can come back to give services to our people. Because now, you see, we have continuous rain and we have flooding everywhere in the country. And this is a very big problem and a challenge that we are facing now. You remember, a few years ago, we had a challenge of COVID-19, which affected the whole region. And now we are back again with this uh, issue of flooding. We're just requesting if the government can come up with a, with a standing with the doctors and clinical officers, so that they can finish their problem of payment and water view, so that our people can get the uh, proper services. Lastly, is that it's about the disaster management team. We have only been seeing Red Cross people running around all over the, all over the country and um, some non-governmental organizations like Berrells Medical Center and uh, Seed Power Organization and others. They are trying to reach out and support. But the question is, where is the money for the disaster management? Because this, this disaster, disaster management is an is a, a office within the government, which means it must be given a location. Even the director of disasters must, must be a person who is receiving his payment every month, which means there must be a location for this. We are requesting both the county and the government if they can do something about the disaster and to find how they can help this uh, situation. As of now, we have 580 households. Already, uh, most of the people are in the primary school, others are in the secondary school. And we reached to this organization called Gold Will Provide under the leadership of our brother Newton Ogada, who has been with us for the last three, four years. So when we called on him, when we reached on him, he was very, very ready to come and he has come today. And today you can see uh, people are being given medication free. As, as you know now, we have the striking doctors who are, have not reported to work. So we just want to thank this group for coming in to assist our people in terms of medication. And uh, we, hope them, we wish them well. Next time they will be able to assist other people who are affected.